has flowed the spirit of some of its most famous GT cars, including the legendary 250 GT Burl and Adeluso, with a long-awaited Roma. The new front-slash-mid-engine coupe gives Ferrari a legitimate opponent to the Porsche 911 and a number of other entry-level models from its formidable rivals. Roma is a significant upgrade in cabin presentation for Ferrari, implementing a new twin cockpit interior concept with a 16.0-inch virtual instrument cluster and an 8.4-inch portrait-style touchscreen above the center console. There are some neat new tech pieces like the Chow, Ferrari voice-activated functionality, plus climate control and various other mod cons one would expect on a new vehicle. Safety has also been overhauled in the latest generation of vehicles from Maranello. Standard equipment consists of front and side forks, control controls and ABS, with the Otis $15,000 package implemented which adds departure warning and forward warning, among many acronyms. The long muzzle of the 2021 Ferrari Roma sits at 456 kilowatts 760 newton meters version of the 3.9 liter twin turbo V8 familiar to the supercar mark. It is indeed an evolution of the Portofino Bent 8, getting a new camshaft profile, a new inductive RPM sensor designed to spin the turbocharger faster, as well as a new catalytic converter and gasoline particulate filter to make it Euro 6 emission compliant. The twin-turbo V8 is connected to a new 8-speed dual-clutch gearbox which offers the added benefit of being 6 kg lighter than the old 7-speed, plus smoother and faster gear shifts. Slim and smart design. Major changes to the cabin give it a much more contemporary layout that also seems to understate the testosterone factor that permeates the DNA of modern supercars. For example, the traditional large center tachometer normally housed in the instrument cluster has been replaced with a swish, but more understated digital display. Elsewhere, the signature red Ferrari starter button is now a haptic switch integrated into the capacitive screen under the steering wheel. There's still the famous Manatino button for flicking between five driving modes, but even that exudes a more digital presence than ever before. The recent fascination with touchscreens has come at the expense of everyday convenience for many automakers. Ferrari is not immune. While the new layout looks classy, sometimes it's good to have at least a volume knob handy for convenience. Steering wheel haptic buttons are also prone to occasional missteps. For example, we mistakenly pressed the voice command button while trying to turn on the left hand indicator, which then triggered an unwanted response from the car's infotainment system. Otherwise, the Roma fits into its GT position. The cab has ample storage space, including a neat little pocket for your smartphone on the side of the center console and the front and rear views are clear enough for you to make lane changes around you with confidence. Despite Ferrari's emphasis on this model as a grand tourer, we would argue that the 2021 Ferrari Roma is at the sportier end of the scale. An insanely fast steering rack, boisterous engine and steady dynamics inspire Ferrari's new coupe with an incredible change of pace on the regular road. During our 200 km stint the Roma was clinically fast, crossing public roads with drama reducing efficiency. Starting with the engine, now complete with a stop-start system at idle, the 3.9-liter twin-turbo engine runs effortlessly around town, a stark contrast to the fire-breathing paper output. Similarly, the automatic dual-clutch resists any bonding or shock that is likely to hit other like-minded gearboxes at low speeds. The preference clearly lies in efficiency and daily hauling, achieving an eighth ratio as low as 45 km per hour while walking. At speed, the gearbox shift is almost imperceptible, with almost no lag in acceleration. The V8 is blazing fast under full acceleration, but lacks the manliness of a bona fide old Ferrari. Its whip-like use through the rev range to a 7,500 revolutions per minute cutout is almost over when it starts. On a public road, you want to start the engine and achieve a turbocharged crescendo, but the sad fact is that you do it the way you want on your license. And it's just not worth it on today's camera-filled highways. To our ears, the exhaust is just as boring, especially the old Atmo manufacturer Ferrari. The engine's most useful feature is torque. 
at 1,500 to 2,000 revolutions per minute you can start riding the crest of the waves, with almost instantaneous forward motion and the ability to blast you to the horizon at any moment. When that unavoidable moment comes, the latest generation of Ferrari's much vaunted side slip control is a valuable accomplice, helping to prevent unwanted lateral movement. Those moments can easily lift their ugly head with a tight pass, too much gas and constant full speed boosts have you praising the electronics expert at play. Driving comfort is one of Rome's real strengths. Riding on 20-inch wheels, steady and quiet terrace on miles of highways or pockmarked tracks. There is a level of control attached here which bodes well for the ease of Rome's long journey. Firm, but obedient, good balance. At cruising speed, corner bends are like minor road bends, such as grip speed and control speed as well as carbon ceramic brakes. The steering is precise and the weight is evenly distributed, without giving your hands the voodoo intimacy of a Super Racket 911, while the Roma's front to rear balance feels healthy, underscored by its true rear drive bias. It is a very light car to carry around, and is not affected by the position of the engine under the hood. Perhaps the biggest sweetener to this overperformance is the Roma track advantage. Based on our half-day trip, there's no doubt to say Roma will likely stand on the circuit, regardless of GT's position.